We are a social species as human beings, and not just because of how much we enjoy each other's company, but because in groups and networks we reap the many benefits of diversity. Eating a variety of foods rather than just what we can grow ourselves makes us healthier. Relying on one another for different needs so we can specialize our skills makes us more deeply and broadly capable. Trading widely makes our economies stronger. Collaborating makes our ideas more creative. And giving to others in times of abundance is the surest way to guarantee the reverse in times of need. Modern transportation and communication technologies dramatically increase the size of those sharing networks in the 20th century, allowing people to trade goods globally, work together remotely, and benefit from the skills of partners worldwide. And thanks to the internet and cell phones, for the first time in human history, no one is excluded. But that's not quite accurate. For those of us who grew up surrounded by cars and freeways, it can be hard to remember that at this moment, more than a billion people live in regions completely cut off from their country's road network for some or most of the year. We see children using cell phones in developing countries and farmers collaborating with university students online. But we forget that all those great entrepreneurial ideas still depend on good old trucks, trains, and ships to get things from place to place. A luxury, or even a human right, that many people have no way to access. It took centuries to build out the modern roadways, port systems, railways, and airports that comprise our global network. And think about that. One-seventh of our world population is literally centuries behind. Here's what that looks like up close. You live in a village with a single road leading in and out. This dirt pathway floods for six months straight during rainy season, giving it a quicksand-like consistency in some places and becoming a lake in others. There's no chance of getting your goods to market in the summer or fall. And periodic rains in the dry season make predictable harvest planning impossible. 60% of your crops spoil yearly, and 75% of the revenues from the crops that do make it go to the courier service that drives them into town. If you happen to get sick in the rainy season, there's no way to access medicine or doctors. You spend as much as 10 hours a day, a couple of times a week, walking to the nearest water source and carrying enough home in a giant barrel perched on your head for you and your kids to survive on. And the future is bleak. No one nation, group of nations, or even a global cooperative effort has the money for an infrastructure project to serve a billion people. And we're not talking about wealthy nations. We're talking about the poorest regions on Earth. So what do we do? Can we give any hope to people who've been left out of the global sharing network for generations upon generations? With a little help from technology, a little outside the box thinking, more than a little courage, and a team with hearts of gold, yes, we can. Today, it's our great pleasure to introduce you to the Matternet. Picture this. Chichi, a Nigerian woman, has a baby with an earache. In the past, she would have walked the 20 kilometers to the hospital, but today she just gives them a call. The nurse she speaks with loads antibiotics into a grasshopper, a small autonomous flying transport vehicle, and sends it off. 30 minutes later, it arrives in the village with the baby's medicine. This is Matternet phase one an aircraft kit with plug-in chargers for point-to-point -point transport. Phase two kits add solar-powered stations so remote aircraft can recharge autonomously without returning home. In phase three, those individual networks begin to overlap. Matternet's AI-driven infrastructure will integrate them into an open global system analogous to the internet, transmitting many small packages. So this is the Matternet vision helping development take off by leapfrogging technologies and putting developing countries at the front of the next major paradigm shift. So help us build a more equal, roadless world. Because people matter. <laughs>